what's a deal breaker for you? Oh, a deal breaker in a relationship? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Uh, you know, somebody that won't give me space uh, to do what like I do. clingy? Well, just uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, when, when I go to the when I go to the club and do sets, I really like to go by myself because it's a tribal hang in that green room that that I thrive on. So, so I need somebody that respects the fact that I need that thing by myself and they can't go with me. And it was the same way when I was in L.A. When I would go down to the store. Or whatever, whatever relationship I was in, it was completely off limits. I do this by myself. But I also, it's that way with friends of mine. It's also that way with managers or agents. Nobody goes with me to do these shows. I have to do those sets by myself. Now, if it's a big show, then I don't care who's yeah. there. I don't care at all. But I need this hang. I need this. It's really important to me to hang out with other comics talking about stand-up comedy and the best place in the world for that is it uh the mothership in that green yeah. room that is a that's a place where all comics should aspire to one day have permission to go to yeah uh because that is cool as shit amazing what is the most important thing to you in a relationship besides space like if you're talking about like communication or honesty you know uh, uh, oral sex is pretty important. I, I don't know about you, but I enjoy a good blowjob. That's for sure. That's a form uh, of communication. It sure is. It sure is. <laughs> and I don't mind walking somebody through it, you know, if they're not doing it right. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't mind. That's fine. I'll Tell show them how them, to do it. I'll show them a video or whatever and, uh, and, and get them back on track. So. <laughs> I could just see you whip out a porn and you're just like, this is exactly what I want you to do. That's exactly what I do. It, <laughs> I mean, it is. Because why, you know, why leave guesswork in it? It's, the work's been done. Porn is sex education. It's important for everybody. Yeah. People should communicate by watching porn and they go, do that. Dude. Because sometimes people are a little a little taken aback and, and or, or, or a little shy to say, this is what I really want. Right. Uh, but if you're watching a movie and they seem to like it and what the fuck, let's give it a try. Yeah. You know? Out of all of the relationships that you've had, what do you think is something that you've learned the most from all of the relationships? Uh, that my current girlfriend hates anal. Oh, <laughs> some people feel that's an exit only. I know. I know. And I don't, I don't, I don't get it, but I don't care. Either because some women like it, that's fine. I don't care. It's not like I'm dying to do that, but she she doesn't like it at all. Maybe loosen her up, get her a cocktail. Well, I've tried it and uh, <laughs> and, it, and it didn't work at all. So, uh, how far into a relationship until you say I love you? As long as I can possibly go. <laughs> it really is. I dragged that one out. I don't. I don't throw that I love you stuff around. You have you know? told your girlfriend you love her? Yes, of course. How long have y'all been together? Three years. Okay. How long did you wait until you said it? A year, at least, I, I think. But I'm just careful not to say it. Yeah. Until I really mean it, you know? And then when I mean it, I don't have a problem saying it. Yeah. Do you think you'll get married again? No. Does she want to get married? No. What if she did want to get married? She'd have to get married to someone else. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> you know, she doesn't because our, our, our lives are are pretty simple the way they are now. And, and, and some kind of paperwork deal would really make that complicated. Yeah. And, uh, and the reason is we both have money and we both have kids. And we already know what we want to do with that money, you know, and which is my money goes to my kids and her money goes to her kids. And, and uh, we don't want to compl uh, complicate that. She doesn't want to, just the same as me. That's fair. So, yeah, just uh, it's a, a piece of government paperwork. I mean, if there was some big reason to do it uh, that I don't know about, you know, I would, I would do it. I would marry her. Yeah. If I, but there's no reason to at all that I can think of. And I love my current dog. So <laughs> uh, I really don't want to, I don't want to give up uh, 
Smudge. Oh, that's a cute name too. Smudge. Smudge is a cute dog. He is ridiculously cute. Where is the craziest place you've ever had sex? Oh, you know, I, I, I think I'm kind of a straight guy. Kind of boring almost, I guess. But, uh, you know, the... Uh, I can't even think, you know, a train. It's not nothing exciting in the Mile balcony of, of the... I'm not a member of the Mile High Club. Uh, I'm a member of the Mile Ahead Club. That's where you fuck someone behind a Cracker Barrel billboard. <laughs> Have you ever done that? Where you no. Just, Drag them behind the billboard and fuck them. Fuck them, yeah. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's a great club to be in. I you never should. even thought about being in the Mile Ahead Club. You're thinking about it now. I sure am. <laughs> I might have to go do that. I hate feeling left out. Yeah, right. It's and, the worst. And you're being left out of this. I'm so left out. I'm yeah. a mile behind. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking a glass of milk with dinner? First day.